10. In fact, the Scotty's last MVL road loss dates all the way back to October 21st of 2005. That's 39 consecutive road wins. Tonight, they travel to Maysville, a team they've never lost to. We now go live to Nathan Wiseman, who's out in Maysville. Nathan, how did this game match up with all of the hype? Oh, yeah. Well, it, it definitely lived up to all of the hype, that's for sure. And Coach Justin Buttermore, he, used to, he always loves these games like this. He loves the games when the pressure's on and the NBL title is on the line. Now, look who's back from Maysville. Johnny Runkle. The fans were so excited to see him back only five weeks after tearing his ACL, especially when he was getting big yards like this, a 24-yard run. And then Chase Roberts would get another touchdown from Maysville, putting Maysville up 7-3. to three. So let's now fast forward to the end of the half, where Colin Slobodin comes up with the ball, giving Tri-Valley the 10-7 to seven lead heading into the half. Now let's go to the third quarter, where Slobodin gets the ball again. But no, he lets the ball gets loose from him. Maysville falls on the ball, so it's Maysville possession again. Chase Roberts now in shotgun. It looks like he's going to go to the left, but no. He reverses the entire field. All the way to the right side, he's getting past one defender, two, three, all the way down for a 26-yard gain. Now, his ankle would bother him, but he would be all right for the rest of the game. Now, Cody Collins gets absolutely tattooed on this play. Clay Mercer has the ball, and he says, hey, it's Maysville possession. But they were still in it, but after this blocked field goal, Tri-Valley pretty much secured the game. They would get another touchdown and a late touchdown in garbage time as they went on to roll with the victory, 27 to 14. Cody Collins had a huge game, 137 yards, 21 attempts, and one touchdown. But one stat that stood out to me about Tri-Valley tonight, 456 total team yards. A complete domination. I mean, it was really close for a lot of the game, 10 to 7 at halftime, but Tri-Valley really turned it up after halftime and went on to get that victory. So Nathan, how does this win shape up the MVL title race and the playoff picture? Well, this game's huge. I mean, uh, Tri-Valley and Maysville, I mean, it's always a huge game every year, especially when the NBL title is on the line. Now, this game does give Maysville, uh, excuse me, does give Tri-Valley a share of the NBL title. They have to play Philo next week. Now, if they beat Philo, they win it outright for the fifth consecutive year. But if they lose... It feels great. We knew it was going to be a huge game coming in, and we just had to do what we were going to do. The coaches set us up. We had good practices this week, and... We played, come and played out. We didn't play very good in the first half, but we had we got together at halftime and we just came out and played in the second half. Our kids would be very disappointed if it wasn't an outright league title. I and I would too. I mean, our kids know that, and I think that's the expectation. So, um, you know, we got to take care of next week. So yeah, just like the guys were saying, it was great to catch up with Logan Nesbitt and Coach Buttermore after the game. And like I mentioned, it was a huge win for Tri Valley. As I was touching on earlier, they should get the outright title if they beat Philo next week. Their fifth consecutive in a row. But what everyone wants to know is playoff implications. With Tri-Valley being in such a tough region, it wasn't a guarantee that they'd make the playoffs, but this win pretty much solidifies them uh, some postseason action. And as for Maysville, they should get in as well. This loss shouldn't set them back, and they should be just fine in time for the playoffs. So Nathan, if you had to pick a player or two, who stood out for Tri-Valley the most? <laughs> well, yeah, Justin, that's such a hard choice because there's so many playmakers on Tri-Valley. That's what makes them so dominant. Maysville, on the other hand, I mean, they only have Chase Roberts. Chase Ball and Johnny Runkle filter in there a little bit, but they mainly rely on Chase. So for Tri-Valley, though, Logan Nesbitt, he had a huge night. Cody Collins, a big game. And their quarterback, of course, Tyler McGee, comes up huge again. It really is a team effort. They have so many playmakers, it's hard to choose just one. So now Tri-Valley, five straight possible MVL titles. Nathan, thanks for the great work. Now, also, 